Greetings, subjects. I seek the one known as Eugene Krabs. May he present himself to me at once. I'm Eugene Krabs, your highness. Would you like to order something? No! I'm on to you, Krabs. You have stolen the royal crown, you cannot deny. For clever as you are, you left one damn piece of evidence at the scene of the crime. I stole your crown, sign Eugene Krabs. Relinquish the royal crown to me at once. But, but this is crazy. I didn't do it. Hi, Mr. Krabs. This is Clay, the guy you sold Neptune's crown to. Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks again for selling me the crown. Neptune's crown. I sold it to a guy in Shell City, and uh, I just wanted to say thanks again for selling me the crown. Neptune's crown. Which is now in Shell City. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it was idea. <laughs> Eh, don't you just hate wrong numbers? My crown is in the Forbidden Cell City! Ah! Prepare to burn, Krabs! Wait, then, dude, please! I'm begging you! I hate a crook! Ask anyone! That about for me! Very well, then. Before I turn this conniving crustacean into fish meal, who here has anything to say about Eugene Krabs? Something to say about Mr. Krabs. Yeah, SpongeBob, me boy! Oh, you come just in time! Oh, pardon me, miss. Please tell King Neptune all about me. I have worked for Mr. Krabs for many years and always thought he was a great boss. You see? A great boss! I now realize that he's a great big jerk! <laughs> I deserve that manager's job! But you didn't give it to me, because you say I'm a kid! Well, I am 100% man! And this man has got something to say to you! <sighs> you really think I look fat? <sighs> pumba, pumba, pumba. You're a pig. It's a compliment. Oh, thank you. There. I think I made my point. Anyone else? No? Well, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now, Eugene Krabs, you will die. No. I'm flattered you would do this on my account, but being manager isn't worth killing Mr. Krabs over. Quiet, fool! Mr. Krabs stole my crown and now it's in Shell City. That's why he must die. Doesn't it seem a little harsh to kill someone over a crown? You don't understand. My crown is a symbol of my king-like authority. And uh, between you and me, my hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh! Uh, King Neptune, sir, would you spare Mr. Krabs' life if I went to get your crown back? What makes you think you could? You're just a kid. But I'm not a kid. I can do it. Run along. I have a crab to cook. <laughs> no! I won't let you. Very well, then. I'll have to fry you both. Daddy, stop it! Can you get through one day without executing someone? Mindy, I told you to stay in the carriage. Where's your love and compassion? Look at this little guy. He's willing to risk his life to find your crown and save his boss. But daughter, I... Please, father, at least let him try. What have you got to lose? Might I remind you of your special problem? All right. Very well, Mindy. I'll give him a chance, but when your little champion fails to return, I get to splatter this crab all over the wall. Huh? And as for you, be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. He can do it in nine, eight, seven, six, magic! Six it is, then. Five! Epicious! Until then, the crab shall remain frozen where he now stands. No, wait! I'm begging you! <laughs>
Who turned on the AC? Oh, Mr. Kraft! Oh, no, this is terrible! Who's gonna sign my paycheck? Come along, Mindy. 